Have you ever had a hobby that just got out of hand? Maybe you were saving used dental floss, and the next thing you know, you had a ball of stuff in the backyard that was bigger than the garage. Well, these things happen. You like something, you hate to throw it away, and pretty soon, you're a museum. Well, in a way, that's what happened to Bob Taylor, who began collecting antique airplanes back in a time when they really weren't all that old. This is the home of the Antique Airplane Association and Air Power Museum, and it's located in Blakesburg, Iowa. But to aviation junkies, this is the center of the universe, a place where a flyer's dreams and memories don't come to rest. Instead, they come to life. With several hangars on the airfield stuffed full of biplanes from the 1920s, open cockpit monoplanes from the 30s, and an assortment of engines, instruments, flight suits, and simulators, and even a bomb or two. Duds, I think. Yep, duds. Blakesburg is aviation's attic. But unlike a stuffy museum where nothing moves, at the Air Power Museum, they keep the antiques flying. How? Well, by restoring them and flying them. You don't have to be a pilot to visit Antique Airfield, but you do have to understand that sometimes a side road can lead into the sky. And when that happens, you don't want to ask directions. You just want to spread your wings and fly. No,